What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another gameplay commentary. So, I know you guys see the title of the video. You already know it's a big trending topic right now in the YouTube community, especially in the Call of Duty community. Uh, Skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty Cold War. Now, be honest with you guys, man. Uh, I haven't really been playing Cold War as much on this uh, since it came out, actually. I, I just haven't really been playing it much only because skill-based matchmaking has really made it kind of difficult for me to even get decent gameplays. And as you guys know, recently, uh, um, another content creator, actually a couple of content creators, Change, Chain Feeds, I believe, and uh, Korean Savage have actually come out and admitted that they have uh, reverse boosted or joined in to like someone else's, like uh, a bot account pretty much with poor stats so they can get the gameplays that they get. And it's sad that, you know, that is pretty much what the Call of Duty community has turned into. And me personally, I you know, I'm, I get why, they, you know, these content creators have done it or are doing it because this game is it's a sweat vest, bro. And that's one of the main reasons why I haven't really uploaded any Cold War like gameplay since the beta, really, because I, I don't want to put out just, you know, average gameplay or or, you know me going negative or me going barely positive hell this game i believe i go i want to say 32 and 15 like it's 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 not really bad but it's not like you know post worthy in my opinion you know I'm, I'm i'm so used to you know doing much better in uh modern warfare dropping 60 70 bombs you know and even in modern warfare the skill-based matchmaking was pretty tough in that uh as well you know and one of the problems i've been having with this game is just them breaking up the lobby after each game to adjust to my skill so if i'm having a great game like if i have one of those rare games where i don't die as much i may get 30 30 and maybe 10 or something like that and that's sad calling that a great game but if i get a game like that they'll kick out the lobby i'll join up with join up in another lobby full of sweats man and it's made the game unbearably like not as fun as it should be like i want to rank up my guns i want to rank up my character and prestige and all these other things but I don't be having the urge to and skill based matchmaking is ruining Call of Duty in my opinion and a lot of people's opinion. Why do you think Market J, I've been following him since like COD Ghost, you know, Market J, one of the OG uh, Call of Duty pub stumpers. Why do you think he hasn't even been playing Call of Duty as late? Not the newer ones, you know, why Why you think that? Because it's, it's really no point. He, he can't really drop those crazy gameplays that we got that we you know all know him from and you know you know it's one of those things that brought us to his channel just to see him just go off you know dropping 50 60 kills and only dying like a couple of times it's hard to do that when they're always disbanding your lobby putting you in a fresh lobby to adjust to how your performance was and i don't like that man i, I think it's really just put a uh it's it's put a handicap crutch on a lot of players and then it's like activision is more so focused on trying to keep the new players you know involved rather than cater to the og players that have been with the franchise for so many years and it's like it, it, it sucks and let's be honest with each other here um call of duty players aren't as bad as you know they used to be now with youtube being as big as it is and the content creators always showing the best tr tips and tricks the best classes to use like everybody knows who exclusive ace and drifter is and now uh j god everybody know who these content creators are and they come up with it not come up but they they research the analytics on what guns are better to use and i subscribe to these channels because you know i want to know what are the better guns to use what are the best perks to use like the the time to kill like 
these things they go into the analytics of the game itself so if you have youtube which everyone has if you have any access to an internet and you want to get better you want to figure out what guns to use guess what you could check these guys channel figure out what guns to use and potentially you know use the best guns in the game and they're just giving out information and there's nothing wrong with that so when you have a lot of people doing that nowadays the average cat call of duty player isn't as bad as they used to be because they have the information at their hands to figure out what to use what not to use you know what i'm saying back in the day back in the modern warfare two days and you know modern warfare three days it wasn't as prevalent you know what i'm saying you kind of had to figure out what guns to use what perks was good for you but now you have content creators to do that and even the bigger content creators they have videos the best tips and tricks the best class of like they have those videos now for people to you know check out and you know figure out what would be the best for them or you know they want to get the sick gameplays that they see on screen from their favorite youtubers so they're going to use that class you know so it i, I do appreciate people being more transparent even though the change feed situation I, I feel like he's only being he was only transparent because he kind of got you know put into a, a box a corner and uh people kind of figured out that yeah you you are definitely reverse boosting especially if you have like a five plus kd and a lot of people knew korean savage was but you know it's the fact that he just openly admitted to it it, it kind of really lets you know that a lot of these bigger you content creators they're definitely doing that for this game if the call of duty pros are having a hard time maintaining a two someone that's not a call of duty pro just a pub stomper uh, ends up with a three or a four definitely some reverse boosting is going on definitely so he's joining a bot accounts lobby to get these easy lobbies and the only reason why i haven't done it because i'm really just too lazy to do it honestly that's really what it is i'm just too lazy to do that and it doesn't feel the same like i remember the last time like i really was just going off was like in black ops 4 and i would get into sweat lobbies and i would get into easy chill easy mode lobbies and it was fun for me it was fun dropping 100 200 kills in one game against a bunch of noobs and maybe one or two random good people on the other team and then it was also fun going against sweats you know what i'm saying so it was a balance of going against good and bad players but the lobbies never disbanded in black ops 4 you kept the lobby the same and it, it just made for an overall better experience. But they started with Modern Warfare, switched up how they wanted the newer players to get involved into the Call of Duty franchise. And it's pretty much hampered the uh, OG players, man. So I'm making this commentary just actually to get your guys' opinion on on uh, this particular topic do you guys want me to post my average gameplays man that's the only reason why i haven't been posting anything call of duty related because i've just been feeling like i don't think you guys would be interested in watching me go barely positive you know what i'm saying or you know getting like a, a 32 kill gameplay and i have 20 deaths or something like that like I, i'm not sure if you guys would be interested in that but realistically that is what I get nine times out of ten when I'm playing this game. And after a while, I get tired of trying to sweat. So I just get off because I, I, I really spend my time doing anything else than just sweating on a video game. When I just want to chill sometimes. I just want to have a casual experience. So comment down below. Let me know. If you guys really would like to see just my average gameplays on this game, I'll definitely post it for you guys. I'll post. I'll start posting more content, and I'll actually do some live, more live comms, and y'all can get a chance to hear me rage. Cause boy, I be, oh bro, I be getting mad over here. I don't be breaking shit, but I be pretty pissed off at just how things are set up when it comes to this game. So definitely, if you guys want me to do post more Call of Duty content on here, specific, uh, specifically Cold War, I definitely will. Let me know in the comment section down below, man. But I appreciate all the love and support, man. Road to, it's crazy to say this, road to 40K. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay. See y'all next time. Peace. Hard point lost.
lost. Our point is secure. Oh, no. Bastards will think twice before they try that again. Hostiles yeah, are pulling back. Attack them. We are in control. 